intro to algebra. Let's start with addition and subtraction. We need to get used to adding and subtracting negative numbers. Before that, let's first look at the number line. On the number line, to the right of zero are positive numbers. To the left of zero are negative numbers. In between whole numbers are fractions. Fractions, as we learned in basic math, represent parts of a whole. And yes, there are negative fractions, too. Let's not forget irrational numbers. They also have their place in the number line. Now, let's start with simple addition and illustrate the concept using our number line. Let's first add positive numbers. For example, 2 plus 4. We know the answer is 6. On the number line, remember that each number in our expression will be represented by an arrow. The arrow's length is the value of that number. The direction of the arrow depends on whether the number is negative or positive. A positive number will have its arrowhead pointed to the right, while a negative number's arrow will be pointed to the left. Another thing to remember, is the tail of the arrow for the succeeding numbers need to be fixed with the head of the previous number's arrow, tail to head. So on our example, the arrow tail for the first number, 2, is fixed at 0, with its head ending at 2. Then, the arrow tail for the next number, 4, is fixed at the head of the previous number, 2, with its head ending at 6. Hence the sum of 6. Simple, right? Now, let's add negative numbers. Let's work on negative 2 plus negative 4. The answer is, negative 6. To show using the line number, let's place the corresponding arrows for each negative number. Remember, the arrow direction is to the left for negative numbers. Negative 2's arrow tail is at 0 with its head at negative 2. Negative 4's arrow tail starts at negative 2, where the previous number's head is at tail to head. So, we see that the head of the second arrow ended at negative 6, which is, the answer to negative 2 plus negative 4. So far, so good? Do you feel like becoming a super math hero or a math princess maybe? Just kidding. Let's now move on to adding positive and negative numbers together. When adding positive and negative numbers, the sum may be positive or negative depending on the numbers being added. Let's work on two examples. The first one is positive 4 plus negative 2. Let's find what the answer is. Placing the corresponding arrows on the number line, we have positive number 4's arrow pointing to the right from 0 to 4. Then, negative 2's arrow pointing to the left with its tail fixed at positive 4's arrowhead. The last arrowhead is now at positive 2, which is the answer to our example. Are you still following? I bet, you are. Let's look at our second example, negative 4 plus positive 2. Let's show the answer using the number line. Again, placing the corresponding arrows on the number line, we have negative number 4's arrow pointing to the left from 0 to negative 4. Then, positive 2's arrow pointing to the right with its tail fixed at negative 4's arrowhead. The last arrowhead is now at negative 2, which is the answer to our second example. You are getting good at this. So, how about doing additions and subtractions without the number line? How about working on big numbers? On long and complex expressions and equations? You wouldn't want to build an impossibly long number line just to get an answer, would you? Watch out for our next lessons. We will learn about absolute values, and do more addition and subtraction, plus so much more. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Please don't forget to subscribe and get notified when new video lessons are available.